One, two, three. Awesome! We have this thing called boogie boarding, where we take the surfboards, the windsurf boards out without the sail. And um, sometimes it's after dinner, so maybe just as the sun is setting. And I remember one time I was out there with my three special friends who were girls in cabin three, so that's the younger girls. And we went out there, and at first we were jumping off and laughing. It was a great time. It was really, really special. And, uh, and we, then we sat on our boards as the sun was setting down. And I remember all of us saying and truly feeling it. And one of the campers turned to me and she said, I wish this moment could last forever. And I really believed in that. And that was, it was really nice. The staff are trained on many of the psychosocial aspects of childhood cancer. Often these kids do go to the counselors and do want to talk about uh, what they're feeling or what they're going through and uh, our staff are very prepared and able to be able to do that with them. Our main role here at Camp Choyum is to foster relationships and that's what we do best is to foster and maintain those relationships that carry on for years to come. No! I was a camper at this camp. My brother had Down syndrome and was diagnosed with leukemia at the age of three. And he pa later passed away at the age of six and a half. I was about 10 at the time. Before coming, I was extremely shy actually until I was uh, 14 years old. And then I came here, it just brought me on my shell, just relating with other children who I had a common bond with. When I told my friends at home, uh, I have a brother who passed away, they just, oh, and wouldn't talk to me, it was really awkward, but uh, when I came here, oh, what was his name? I thought that was the greatest thing on earth. I've made friends that I think I'll have for the rest of my life, I, and memories I undoubtedly will have for the rest of my life. Well, I think it's been a kind of a, a cumulative thing over the years where we've just, I mean, our, our children have come to know a lot of these people so well, and we're now the old timers, and and it's a chance, uh, they, they like having people like us be here as well so that we can talk with the people who are early on in the treatment and let them uh, you know, know what it's all about, what they have to look forward to ahead and let them have some hope that uh, you know, things could turn out very well as they have for us. You're certainly welcome to talk about it. You know, there are times that we cry and obviously a lot of times that we, we laugh a lot and have a lot of fun together. I think that's what it's all about. We have actually seen campers um, who are active, active on treatment and now, eight years later, or you know, prior six years later, they're actually now special friends and now counselors here at Trillium. It's so wonderful. During the school year, the special times are not forgotten, with youth and preschool groups in their community, special friend programs, and fall winter programs for families. You're seeing happy sights, but remember what you can't see. The battle between cancerous cells and powerful drugs continues to rage in these young bodies. Medical care must continue at camp because cancer takes no holidays. There have been summers where John's been quite ill. Uh, we wouldn't be able to be in a public situation, for instance. His immune system has been very suppressed. All of the families here are um, aware of what immune suppression is and we're all, we're all watching out for each other. There have been times where he hasn't been well during camp and we can hang out at the body shop, rest on the porch, and then once he's feeling a little bit better, even if he's only got a half hour good in that day, we can utilize it to, to its fullest capacity. Do anything. Whether on or off treatment, these children live their lives under a cloud of uncertainty. Camp can help them to forget, at least for a while. Some of the children who come to Camp Troyum are dying and there aren't a lot of places a dying child can go and be treated normal. My brother Joe was diagnosed when he was 22 months. Um, he relapsed up to the age of 15, about 10 times throughout that period. My brother died when he was 15 years old and I was 9 at the time. I was diagnosed with ALL, acute lymphoblastic leukemia, when I was 8 years old. My friends at school didn't really know much about it or anything so... 
I kind of lost my friends in grade two. When I was 13 years old, I relapsed with cancer again. My friends from camp have supported me throughout all my hard times because they've been through the same thing. They all know what it's like. They're very supportive and they've always been there for me. I was paired up with a little boy who was really sick in his family and uh, one night I was playing the guitar for him before he was going to sleep and his parents were up at the parents lounge um, with the other counselors and I was playing guitar for him and he was just lying on his bed and he just kept asking me to play um, his favorite song and, uh, and that was a, a song that was called uh, Let It Rain Down On Me and we just played it over and over again and it's a moment that I'll never forget and uh, when he died I went to his funeral in the fall it was a moment that really just kept coming back to me as a really special moment. You haven't seen all the moments of tender exchange that Camp Trillium gives birth to. These are just too private and too important to permit our intrusion. And yet, it's the love and trust fostered in these special moments which gives meaning to the camp. From fun comes friendship. From friendship, hope. There's a song that I sing to my friends To keep them feeling fine Good, good night to you The whole night through And may your dreams of love, peace and hope, and may all of your dreams come true. When you need someone to talk to, or you just need someone to hold, well, now you know you got someone to turn to to help keep out the cold good good night to you the whole night through. and may your dream And may all of your dreams come.